In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to score by video with TurboStats 12.0 streamed video uh, tool. We just came out with that this year. We've always had score by video, but this year we have the ability to load your video from YouTube or another uh, web-based uh, video so that you don't have to load each video onto your computer. It also is great for sharing videos with other coaches. This way you could just pull the main video right off the YouTube site. So we got back into our live scoring screen here and the way you add the video would be to hit the plus video link here at the bottom of the page. You could also go into the preferences and go to webcast and video and put your YouTube video here. Now if you were going to be streaming this game live and scoring live in TurboStats, you would use this option here. You would add the video, copy it from the URL, the YouTube page, and then when you set your GameCast on, the video stream will show up with all the stats. In this case, since we're scoring by the video, the game is over, and we're just going to hit the video button here, and it's going to load up the video that we previously scored here. Okay, so now you start off at the top of the video, the, the very beginning here, but if I go into the events, I can go and highlight any event that I previously scored from this video and just click this play button and it'll take us right to the clip. Okay, and the other feature is you could come into search events here and you could pick any particular player from any team and you could see all their, uh, you want to see all the dunks for Duke, you just come in here and pick dunk and you see all Duke's dunks, you could pick individual players if you want but you hit search Okay, and then you come over here, you hit watch, and then just double click here, and you'll be able to see the dunks. Here's a list of them, they'll show up in this short list here. Here's a missed dunk. Okay, so it's really easy here. Let's go back into search events and clear these. And then let's go and continue scoring this game. So we're going to go into the play by play and go to the bottom, highlight the last event, and hit play. And that's going to take us right to this spot uh, in the game here so we can continue scoring. So now we had a missed shot by number 5, rebound by 21. Let's sync the clocks up here, 18, 55. Just click in here and type 55. Okay, and let's get the video and the clock going by hitting start. If I hit play, I'll just start the video and the clock won't start. Like if it's an out-of-bounds play, I'll just hit the play button. But if I'm starting the clock and the video, hit the start button. Okay, so we're ready to score the next event. Now, we don't have to touch any of these controls now. The software will stop the video by itself when you start entering event. So let's look here. Okay, we just had a foul. I hit foul. Okay, the clock stops. Okay, it's on number 15. Okay, now... Uh, we're going to start just the video part, not the clock, because it's a dead ball right now. So we hit the, the play button. Now the clock's not running. Okay. And we're going to see if there's any subs or anything that are going to happen. If I want to fast forward eight seconds, I can click this button right here. and It'll take me eight seconds further, and we see that that player came out. So now I can come in here and make a sub. So I just, number three came in for 15. Drag and drop it there, and that's all you need to do. Okay, another cool feature is if you have a, an HDMI port or a mini display port on your computer and you have a smaller monitor, you could take this screen and you drag it right off your desktop onto an extended display. Now make sure your laptop um, is set up so that you have your TV. So I have two displays here, and I want these set up as to extend the displays. We don't want them duplicated. We want them extended. And what happens is it makes a whole separate display that you could put this uh, graphic on. You could maximize it on your main TV. If you have wireless display, which Windows offers, you could sit on your couch and watch the game, this part on the main big screen TV, and you could score in full screen on your Surface device or your, or your laptop. Um, while you're controlling the video on another display, which is really nice. Okay, so to start scoring the game now, let's start the video part. 
And we're going to fast forward to the game starts again. Okay, let's go back just a little bit here. All right, so now just to make sure the time's right, let's go down one second and we're going to start the clock and the video by hitting the start button. And so as you're scoring now, the video will stop and start on its own. Okay, so two took a shot. I'm going to click on this spot here. Okay, and he missed it. And the rebound was offensive by one. Let's continue now. The video starts. Now one missed a dunk. And it was a rebound by 24. Now I didn't touch the video controls, but the video start, stopped and started on its own. This will help you get through the game in, in a lot faster time. We've got a three-point made here. Made by 24. It's just by 13. Okay, one more event. Okay, we got a made unassisted basket by number two. Okay, so it's really easy to keep up with the game this way. Now, again, we, we talked about how to search for clips here. You could also search across all your games with our new scouting tool and then be able to make a highlight video of all the clips say for a particular player like you can pick either team here highlight the player and then you can see all events and I could just hit search and I could see every event for this player in the whole game if I want to see the steal go to watch double click okay so all these events for that player, make it easy for you to come back and look at turnovers, or it's a great training aid. And you could share these videos. All you have to do is have another coach with a copy of TurboStats. You put the game up on your cloud drive, and because this video is on YouTube, the other coach just has to download the team from the cloud drive and go right into the game screen here and they could watch the video as well without having to move the video file from one computer to another. Another great feature you could use with this program now since you, this video is a stream video up on YouTube you go into our preferences and you click on webcast and videos if you signed up for a gamecast license you'll be able to do this uh, you could turn gamecast on here and make sure your link is all set which we already have it and then just hit um, close out of the the video and then now this button changes you could hit webcast and this link here will be the link to your casting page just click on that you see your serial number here will be for your game ID and if the game is being scored and it's being streamed at the same time you just leave this screen up and you minimize it and you just keep scoring and it will update each event uh, with the video as it's being played. If it's the game's over and you're just you've scored by video and you just want to put this page up there now, you could just turn the webcast off now and come on to the website here and interact with it. Any of your coaches or fans could come onto the site and interact with it. They could play the game from the beginning. Okay, or you could go and you can go into the play by play and highlight any event here in the play by play that you want to see. Just click on the time right here, this box in the middle, and you can see the event playing down at the bottom here. Okay. And it's a really great feature because if you want to key in on one player and look at all their events here, you can. So let me click on this and we'll scroll up to watch this play on the bigger screen here. Okay, so it's a really nice feature with the program. Uh, you have support here for different monitor sizes or phones. If you make this skin, this will be look like on your phone. Okay, and same thing with the video will pop up at the bottom there, and you can just click on the time and go right to the clips. So this is new this year. It's a, it's a really great feature, and it works with the streamed video that you score in TurboStats. So your team could look at this video. They can see their individual plays. If you want to have them go and look at the turnovers 
or key in on specific features of the game. It's easy to navigate through the play-by-play. -play. We hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, email us at support at turbostats.com. Thank you for watching.